in today's proof without words series, we are going to think about how we can trisect any given straight line segment. Given a straight line segment AB, our aim is to eventually separate it into three line segments of equal length, using only a compass and a straight edge, which you can think of as a ruler without length markings. Before we investigate the problem of trisection, let's talk about the centroid of a triangle. Given any triangle, we can draw a line connecting the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side of a triangle. This line is known as the median of the triangle. And if we repeat this another two times, we will see that the three medians intersect at a single point, which is known as the centroid of a triangle. What is so special about the centroid is that it separates each of the medians in a ratio of length of 2 to 1, as labelled in the diagram. We can use this to help us with our trisection later. Now, let's look at the diagrams we are provided and attempt to reason our way through it. In the first diagram, line segment AB is given, which we will attempt to trisect. First, we draw circles centered at point A and point B, with radius being the length of segment AB. Next, we can look at the second diagram and draw in the diameter of one of the circles, labelled as CD, in the second diagram. Note that each of the three segments coloured in red, purple and green has the same length, all being radius of the first circle. With this line drawn, we can look at the third diagram, where we draw in another two lines, coloured red and purple. The purple line segment, being the radius of the first circle, bisects the red segment, which is a chord in the same circle. With this, we can see that E is the midpoint of the red segment. Finally, we are now ready for the trisection. Looking at the final diagram, we focus on the triangle BCD. Note that we have shown earlier that A is the midpoint of line segment CD and E is the midpoint of line segment BD. We can then construct a median from vertex C which intersects the median AB at F. Since F is the intersection of two medians, it is the centroid of a triangle. And by our property above, it divides the line segment AB in a ratio 1 to 2. To get our trisection, we repeat all the steps above, changing our focus to the second circle instead of the first circle, so the line segment is divided in ratio 1 to 2 from another end. Eventually, we will have our trisection as required. We have come to the end of the video. Please like the video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe for more content. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.